guys, hope you're having a great day today. All right, today is Wednesday. Did you forget it was Wednesday? I feel like I forgot it's Wednesday because it's already about noon time for me. <sighs> I did not sleep in today. I wish I would have. <laughs> today was a good day to want to sleep in, but it was not. It was not able to happen today. Today we ran to the dentist this morning, um, and so it was just a busy morning already. I came home and I'm like, <sighs> I don't feel like doing anything. I literally feel like doing absolutely nothing. Is there anything wrong with that? No, nothing wrong with feeling like doing absolutely nothing. That's how I'm feeling today. So in my mind, I'm like, all right, what is the minimal amount of things that I have to do today to make my day feel accomplished? So that's what we're going to do today. <laughs> today we have to eat, have to eat. Today breakfast is pancake on a stick. Yes, blueberry pancake on a stick for the kids. They're loving it. Laying in bed watching the devices. They are loving life right now. So they are doing that. I don't know what we'll do for lunch. I'm gonna have to see what we have. Dinner I pulled out before I left. I had like yesterday I pulled out, or Monday actually I pulled out uh, frozen turkey, right? Turkey burger. So I just put it in a container of water because it was still frozen. So that is thought. So I'm gonna make some turkey, spinach feta, turkey burgers. Yes, I'm going to do those. Those were Ashlyn's favorite. She likes eating those. And so we made them into burgers for her birthday when she was here. So I think I'm going to do those, not smoke them. I think I'm just going to cook them inside on a pan. I think I can do that. I think I'll do that. So we're going to do that today for dinner. So I'm going to make those. That's something delicious and new and I'll, I'll make extra. I took out all the frozen turkey. I thought I'll just freeze it and we can have it later on. So we're going to do that for food today. I don't know if we'll make more. We will see how the day goes. Right now I'm looking up at my sky. It is blue sky sunshine and it was like that yesterday. And you know what that means? It means for the most perfect day in the south. It has been so muggy here. It has been muggy, southern muggy weather. Like you just walk outside and just feels like wet. Sweat. We've been working. Oh, we worked that whole weekend with all that digging and it was just like you just felt drenched in sweat, which is good and fine. But yesterday, the skies opened, that that smog, the smog, the this the mugginess lifted. Basically, the rain cloud went somewhere else. And so it is just beautiful, 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 beautiful. So we got home yesterday and we just went out in the pool and spent the entire afternoon and evening in the pool. It was so wonderful. It was so wonderful. The kids and I were out there. We got some new floaties and we just swam and had so much fun, slayed and just relaxed. And then they're like, we're getting hungry. So I took all of our dinner and we sat out on the table there and we ate and the wind was blowing like it is now. And it was that cool nighttime mountain breeze blowing and it was just beautiful. And we stayed out all night, all night outside. It was just the greatest greatest thing ever. And then uh, I was just hosing everything up. Greg went fishing, took Jaden fishing. And so they did that. And it was like 8.30. I'm like, we got to go inside, guys. <laughs> get inside, get ready for bed. So we came in and it was the greatest relaxing day. And I'm like, oh, I need another day like that today. So I'm hoping to do sort of that. I have to do a few things today, but that is that is my main goal is to get to the pool day. The kids will be out there swimming, but my main goal will be to get in there too. So we'll just see how the day rolls. But I need to make food. I may, might do some painting. I might get the paint. Cause I've got that pile of projects sitting on my floor here in my kitchen. The, the longer it sits, it just sits. So if I just get it done, it's done. So I need to paint. I need to paint this deck because it's all scraped up. And I need to paint the um, fence around the propane tank. So I might accomplish that today. We're going to see how the day rolls. I don't even know. I don't even know because right now I'm feeling like doing nothing, but I need to do something. So I'm going to work on that. And then I thought, I was thinking, what else can I share today? So I thought I would chit chat and talk because maybe this will affect some of you. So maybe it won't. Insurance, like health insurance and dental insurance because I thought about it because we went to the dentist today and I'm like, hmm, I wonder if that's something to talk about. Just to share, I don't know, maybe it can help somebody. I don't usually ever talk about insurance because don't really think about it, but I'm like, that's part of life. We need that. So we are now self-employed, both Greg and I. And so we don't rely on a company per se to give us insurance. So that was probably my biggest fear about, um, like, you know, Greg always worked away from the home at a, through an employer and we always had insurance. And so I was like, that's great. Well, then when I <laughs> found out he was not going to have that, I was like, ah, ha, ha what do you do? What do you, how do you, how do you function? <laughs> and it's a little scary at first to go, you're not going to have insurance. How are you going to live? How are you going to make things work? So I was very thankful that everything has fallen into place and we've made it and done well. So what I have done way before this, we looked into doing the marketplace. <laughs> yeah, way too expensive for our family. So we opted not to do that option. And that's okay. That was something I was like, you know what, if we had, if I had a lot, if we have a lot of medical issues and problems, like, you know, this is all, this is just my experience. I'm not telling you this is right for everybody. I'm sharing you what's good for our family. So if we had a lot of medical expenses all the time, I might think more about purchasing a, a plan through maybe something like the marketplace or whatever, wherever the other, buying it on our own. But we don't go to the doctors very often, like hardly ever. We, we do it like once a year. 
if that. I don't think, did we go last year? I don't think we, we well, yes, I did. It was at the end of the pandemic. I'm like, dang, go last year. We did go last year. So that's it. We only go like once a year. We rarely go. If we ever get ill, I usually can call my doctor. I don't think I've ever had to go into doctors when I was sick. I never did. I usually just call and they are so good. Like I just describe the symptoms and <laughs> tell them and they're good to send us a script. And that's usually, and that if, if anything, we don't, we hardly ever like, like Evan, I think got sick last year and he had to get a, um, like a Z pack. And the last time he had <laughs> an antibiotic was like, he was like seven or eight years old back in Michigan. They're like, he's allergic to penicillin. I'm like, he is i'm like how do we even know that and they're like well back in whatever the year was i'm like oh my goodness he would have been like seven years old so we rarely do like doctor visits for needs like of that just don't need it it's like usually it's just not something we need so anyways so when we were looking for insurance i'm like we want to have something obviously if we have an emergency and so i had a good friend she had she had christian healthcare ministries there's another one as well to the samaritans thing i think but we went with christian healthcare ministries and so um my friend has it i talked to her i've talked to another couple families over the years that have large families and they use the same one and i'm like okay that works and i just didn't really know how it works and then i think i also listened to jamarell she um on youtube here she has it for herself as well and her family and so she does it having babies and so there's different levels you can get in the program like we are not going to have any more children that's just not unless the lord just says have more children but he has not he's like already let me know like no more so i'm not really going to be having any more babies where i have to worry about having different so i know there's different levels you can purchase to use we just use the bronze one which is a little bit lower level so we just pay a very low premium every single month and then um and it goes into a gift and basically their money the concept behind christian healthcare ministries is um, Christians coming together and the body of believers helping each other with their medical bills. I mean, Bible concept, right? <laughs> instead, of, instead of big tech companies getting your money, sharing it with others. And so being able to help people pay off their medical bills and help people pour in, you know, like obviously we don't use it. I've never even used ours. We, for a couple of years now, we haven't even had to use it. I, mean, I don't even use it. No, it's been a couple of years. Yeah, we haven't even used it for anything. Like I've never poured in any medical bills to them. We've just paid for them ourselves. And so knowing that money is going to go help some other person with some other need is a great thing. So that's what we choose to do for us. There are so many different options. There's different levels for different needs. Like I believe ours, I'm going to be completely wrong. I'll probably put it down the bottom if I'm wrong, but I believe our bronze level, like we have a $5,000 deductible before we even submit any papers for need. Like if we had a big ma massive medical emergency, what we would do is we would go get the, you know, our treatment, we'd have that and they'd send us all those bills. So that I would take those bills and submit them to the Christian healthcare ministries. But we have the $5,000 deductible, which sounds like a lot of people are like, oh my goodness. But I know through my husband's work the last time we had a $5,000 deductible and we had to pay out a lot before they even covered anything. So yeah, so it just seems like a big scary number, but it's not, and it's still the reality. And people remember, people put you on plans. If you can't afford medical bills, if you even if you don't have insurance at all, and you have to pay. Remember, you can contact the hospitals and the doctors and all those places and ask for a discount for paying cash. For one, beforehand, we always go in and we say we're paying cash. We give us a discount, and they usually do. Like we went to the eye doctor the other day, and I said they had the whatever the total amount was, and then I said we're paying cash. There is a discount, right? And it was like 30% off. Well, that was like 40, 50 bucks, and so I'm like, yeah, that definitely is a discount. So always ask that before you go in and do a medical thing, you know. So that's that's the one that we do. I there's so much more information on it. You can go to their website. I'm going to put the Christian Healthcare Ministries website below. I'll put my little code on there. You can take my code as a referral. If if you want you don't have to um and then you can click that in there It'll ask who referred you to us and you can put my name in there and that helps me on there if you want but you don't have to at all but it just that's just the option we use for medical it works that way that means that we have to pay out a pocket when we go to the doctors you know so when we go our doctors know hey i'm gonna be paying cash and so we just have that money set aside and we pay for it we would rather do that versus having the cost that uh, medical insurance was going to cost us the thousands of dollars, thousands of dollars versus the couple hundred I have to pay a month. That's not a big deal. So all I do is just take that extra, put it away, put it away into savings because I would have had to put it away to pay for the insurance. So I'd much rather put it away, hold on to it if we do need to go to the doctors. So we pay the little bit or we gotta pay full price for prescriptions. You know, we always look for the generic as well. If we have to get something like, hey, a generic, you can shop around to different, um, most, most all of the um, generic 
prescriptions are pretty, pretty cheap. I know certain places are free and then you can get some even, you know, it's just super cheap. And so, you know, you can call around and get different prices that way as well. So that's what we do for medical. It's just that way we just pay for the visit. If we have something expensive, it's gonna come up. Okay, we just know we have to pay for it and we set it aside and plan and pay for it. If there's a catastrophic emergency, we have to pay a whole chunk. That's where we would have to submit our um, bills to the healthcare Christian Healthcare Ministries, and then they would help take care of them. And the members help pay for them every single month on your thing. So that's just one little area of avenue for medical. Now for uh, vision, we don't have any insurance for vision, but when we do go in, we just go in and go, I just say, hey, we're paying cash for our visit. And then they give you that discount and they expect your payment right then though. So you have to have that. And then we go buy our glasses online. So we've done the um, glasses online, like we've had the Felix Gray glasses, we've done Zenny Optical. There's another one that we got glasses and all you can, cause you get your prescription and right in the doctor's office, they have a prescription area. So you have to like measure your, your, your um, measure the distance of your pupils. When you go in there say, would you measure my pupils for me? And they will, because they have the equipment right there. Write it all down. And then when you go on their website, like pull up the website beforehand because your paper you get only has like your prescription. It doesn't have the measuring thing. And so you can actually get that from them and then they'll type it and put it right in and you can have your classes for a whole lot cheaper sent to your house through the mail so that's what we do for that and then for dental today we did this for dental so dental is expensive as well dental insurance and you need dental so even through my husband's work when we had dental you still only got so much a year like you had a max of like whatever it was five thousand dollars a year and that's all you could spend again so yes you can pay cash for everything but teeth are very very expensive especially if you had a lot of work to do so what we do is a dental discount plan i didn't know that was what that called each states have different ones. Now, I remember in Michigan, I remember going into our dentist and seeing a sign there, and I was like, oh, what is that? Now I realize it was one of those discount dental plans. And so the one we go, we use now is for, um, it's Alliance Dental Plan, but it's only in Georgia and South Carolina. We live right on the border in South Carolina. So the dentist that I went to, I actually went there first for my husband's work through their insurance and then when he ended that job, I was like, what are we gonna do? Well, then I saw that little sign. She's like, oh, we have this um, discount dental plan. And I'm like, hmm, so great thing because you get it and we pay, I'm looking at their website right now to make sure I pay, I pay $90 a year. So for one individual and each person is only $40. So what this is, it gives you a free exam and x-rays. And then when you go in and you get your cleanings, it gives you like 25% off your cleanings. And then you get like, I think it's 25% off, maybe 30% off your other services. So instead of paying full price for say a crown or if you need partials, dentures, cavities, all those things filled fillings, not cavities, you don't pay for cavities, you pay for fillings. They give you a discounted price on that. So that's what we do. So for us, that's cheap. You just know, again, like when I go into the dentist, like I went a couple years ago and started treatment on my teeth because we didn't do it for a long time. And they just gave the first visit, they gave me everything I paid just for my, um, it's free exam or x-rays. So I paid for my x-rays, whatever was less than $100. And, um, and then they give me a whole treatment. So they break it up in phases and they say, okay, this is your phase one, this is how much it's gonna cost. Phase two, this, and so you break it up. So then you know that before you go in, okay, I have to have this much money to pay for this. I have this much money to pay for that. That's what we choose for our dental. So look into your state, type in on your internet, because I was like, what is that called? It's called um, Dental Discount Plan. So again, it's not, it's not a, it, it's, for me, I feel like we're paying, we're paying just a little bit more, we're paying less in the, in the amount each year that we have to pay to be part of it versus the you know insurance that we had to pay every single week and so oh here comes that sunshine on my eyeballs love it so look and see what your state is mine or is, like i said is just in georgia and south carolina but you can see it's just another option to affording dental medical and vision because that's costly and everything costs money so and then like i tell my kids it's called take care of what you have <laughs> So I know like, especially when they hit that young adult age, it's like, oh, I gotta go to the dentist and I'm gonna spend $100. And I'm like, yes. But that little $100 every six months to show any signs of any kind of little bit of tooth decay or cavity, I said, then get it taken care of. Because if you wait 20 years down the road, you're gonna have massive work done on your teeth. I'm like, you need your teeth for your whole entire life. And if you don't take care of them, they're going to rot and be gone. And then you're gonna have so much more work later on. So. I always encourage my kids, I'm like, I know it feels like a lot because I know when we were young and we had kids, the last thing you want to go is, ugh, $250 
for that feeling. Ugh, do I wait for it? What do I do? And then you wait because the pain goes away and you try to get over it. Well, then later on down the road, it's a, you know, a root canal and a crown and everything else. And then $1,500 later, you should just pay the $200. So I always tell them, take care of what you have. Brush your teeth, floss your teeth, do the mouth rinse, and get to your dentist at least once a year. If you don't do every six months, at least once a year. That's not the medical. You should be going every six months, right? But at least once a year to go in there. So if you have any problems, you can get them taken care of. And so I said that little bit you pay is so much better. Trust me, trust me, trust me. So I tell that to my kids. So I'm telling that to you as well because it's so much better. And then if you know you just got to get a lot of work done, like I had to get a lot of work done a few years ago, I just, you know what? Okay, this was my summer to my year to get my teeth done. And I just knew every few months what I had to pay. So I set that aside and I got my teeth work done because teeth work, it's a lot. And if you don't have it, your teeth kill you and it's expensive, it hurts. It's, it doesn't feel good and can affect it and can cause all sorts of other issues. And so things to take care of. All right, did I do enough to chat about medical stuff? I don't know if I can help you with anything, put any comments below about anything. I'll help you as much as I can. I'm not a medical expert, not a insurance expert. I'm just sharing with you what I use and what our family uses. So we don't go to the doctors often. We are not a doctor running to the doctor family. It just does not work that way. We don't, when my kids get sick, the first response is not go to the doctors. My kids are sick, we just wait and see how they do. If they're severe, yes. If they are so severe, not getting better, and it's getting worse, we go. But I don't think we've ever really had to go like mass, here, not even living here. We had, When they were little, it was a little more because they were little. Um, I, mean, I don't remember, we had to do breathing treatment, stuff like that. But here it's usually just the whatever occasional cold sickness that's going around. So we usually just try to treat it at home, ride it out, and be good to go. So that's what we do for that. But dental, one of those things you need. And you need your teeth, and kids get cavities, and adults get cavities, and things wear out. So you have to take care of them. So that's what we do for our medical, dental, and then vision. We just pay for it as well. So plan ahead. I know it's a little bit more, but if you figure out the cost, it's going to cost you for insurance. Usually by setting it aside is a whole lot cheaper in the long run. So, all right, enough chit chat about insurance. Hopefully maybe that's for somebody. Maybe it's not. So I'm going to get moving. I don't want to get moving. It is now 1135. I guess it was, I said it was noon, 1135. I don't want to do anything. I want to do nothing but go swim in my pool today, but I know it's important to do something. <laughs> Ruby's like, I just want to lay here. Ruby, Ruby's over here with our rug. She's like, I just want to lay here all day long and enjoy the sunshine. But I'm going to get up. We're going to go inside. Let's start making our turkey burgers. Get those made. Get them fried up. And then we'll get outside and get some stuff done today. Does that sound good? All right. Let's go inside and have a motivation Wednesday. Even though we feel like doing nothing, let's do something instead of nothing. Right? Get, get a couple of things on your list and accomplish them. So, all right. Let's go inside and get some food made for the day.
All right, so I made my burger patty. So I just put eggs in there and I had, I think I did one egg for every two things of turkey burger. And then I chopped up spinach and onions and I put feta cheese. Some of them I left it without because Jaden has it. So when I put in cookie sheets, we put those in the freezer because we won't have those all today. And these I'm just gonna fry right here. Last time I did them on my grill and I realized that they fell apart because there's some moisture like. So these ones I'm just gonna fry up here and then flip them. That'll be good. So I also got a bowl of pineapple just to munch on and I made the lemonade because the kids were like, we're thirsty. So I made that up. I've got potatoes. I'm gonna cut some of those up and make oven fries and we'll have that with some rice. So either you can have potatoes, fries, rice, with the burgers. I don't have buns, so I'll just be playing tonight for dinner. Oh no, with your words on repeat, I will break like a twig right under your feet. All right, vegetable peeler. I'm not a vegetable peeler person whatsoever, so not bad, but this will work for other things. So I'm gonna peel the rest of with a knife. Just cut these up and mix them with some olive oil in a bowl with some spice and we'll put them in the oven. All right, so doing good. Look at my grandma Linda sent me an apron. This is life is sweet, so she's always good to send me good aprons. So I'm gonna put on cookie sheets two different cookie sheets. Just put some olive oil in there and salt and mix up and put in the oven and roast it. These are gonna be easy potato fries with our little patty things over here. So delicious. Oh, bark, bark, bark. All right, so we've done our chores, done our work, and I'm like, you know what, I'm not gonna make, I was gonna make some rice. I think I'm just gonna do the potatoes with it. So potatoes and the little um, turkey burger patties. That's gonna be easy enough to, and we have some watermelon left over. So that's gonna be done, just finish up my last couple patties. And then I think that we're gonna go outside and go in the pool while it's sunny and nice. And then I'll take a break and come out and work on the deck. I might even, <laughs> maybe I'll hose the deck off, try to get the you know, dog fall prints off it. Maybe I'll do that first, see if I can keep the dogs off it with the gate, and then that way it can dry and then I can paint it. So let me put this in the pantry. Okay, burned in the bottom of my pan, but that's okay. Somebody's here. So all I did was stick it. It's cooked. Some of it came apart a little bit. Maybe it'd hold better if I fried it or put it on the grill. It's still good. It tastes delicious. I'm really loving the turkey taste, which I don't usually like turkey taste at all. So this is over here. I put a little um, dishwasher pot into it. Let that sit. It will just completely wipe off. The longer you let it sit, the easier it will be to wipe it off. So I put it up out of the sink because it, it tends to be in the sink and then people throw things on top of it and then it gets all greasy and gross. So, all right, that's it. I'm done. I'm done in the kitchen. Potatoes are gonna cook. I'm probably gonna turn it down to about 375 and then I'll set a timer on my phone and we're gonna go head outside and go in the pool. I think we're gonna do that for right now. Actually, I'll go outside and hose my duck up and then we'll go in the pool. Okay, I totally forgot that I put a pot of chicken noodle soup over there. <laughs> Didn't finish it. Um, there was a bag in the freezer, so I just heated it up. I totally forgot, I'm reboiling it. Just gonna put some noodles in it. If they wanna eat that, they can. I don't know, it's like afternoon right now. They kinda eat late. If they wanna eat it before dinner, they can. That'll be fine. So I'm just gonna let that cook. I won't show you. I'm gonna go change, get ready for the pool. All right, it is gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous outside. Time to come outside to take a break. I was like, hmm, unless it's really cloudy over here. We'll find out, let's see. Let's see how the pool is looking. I just put the robot, or had Brooklyn put the little ouch vacuum out here. So let me see. I'm sure it's not too dirty. It wasn't too bad last night. Oh, it's not too bad. Look at it. It's got a couple things in the pool. We can get those out. That's no big deal. We definitely have to skim it. So I need to get that out of there. Mm, it is blue sky, beautiful sunshine day. 
how awesome it is. So I'm gonna set you here and then I'm gonna go, I'm gonna try to fish this thing out. The only, the last thing had a hook, so you could hook it. I returned that hook. <sighs> Should've kept the hook. <laughs> then I could hook this up, but it's got the string. So usually I wait till this stops, but obviously it's not stopping. So I'm gonna have to capture it when it comes to the side. Okay, so I scooped that up the whole entire, like I picked up, and usually I wait till it's done. I did not, because we just put it out here. So yeah, it dumped all the dirt in this side of the pool. So I'm just gonna finish skimming this, and then the kids can come out, we're gonna swim. It's beautiful out today. All right, so yesterday, I was carrying all these floaties out here, because we got them new, and I was carrying my JBL speaker, and I was carrying my phone, and a bunch of stuff. Well, I was walking right here, and my JBL speaker just rolled into the pool. I went into like panic mode, dropped all my stuff, jumped in the pool trying to save the speaker. I was like freaking out, and then I was like, it's a speaker, Amy. It's literally a speaker. So, and jumped in, finally got it out. Well, then I Googled it, and they can last 30 minutes in the water. They're waterproof, or 30 meters in the water, so it works. That's good, so we got a new floaties. We got some stuff, because Jane's having her 16th birthday party. That is coming up here soon, so I want to get some fun floaties for that, but also fun floaties for the kids to have, so we got some new ones. So we got the shark right here. We got the, uni the unicorn. It had to come a unicorn and either a llama or a Flamingo. So we got the flamingo. I would have done the llama and the flamingo. So we got those. And then we got an avocado. This avocado is the most comfortable it's thing. So good. It's so comfortable. I recommend it buying. Yeah, because when you sit like on a tube, it's like your you know, your head can't really relax. Even on this floaty right here, this long blue one, it has like a head thing, but you still sit weird with it. This you can fit your whole body in and lay back and relax. And it has the brown avocado ball, which is like a beach ball. But it is now temporarily it's off the side of the pool down the mountain, so we're gonna have to get that. But that is way good for a child and an adult. Way more comfy, like these are not that comfy because they're kind of small. This is good, but you can only sit up so long. Right here, avocado is where it's not at. Not sponsored. Not sponsored, not just sponsored. just go buy yourself an avocado on Amazon. Yeah, I think they're two for, I don't know what the price is, but two of them in a pack, so they are it's super. Cold. Is it cold? It was so hot yesterday, that sun was up. The sun is kind of coming and going. There's the cloud, where is the cloud? Go away, it'll be beautiful. So we're gonna go, we're gonna go hang and go swim for a little bit. All right, so Maddie and I were the last ones to last in the pool. Everybody else left us. I'm like, whatever. Oh, left us. But it was actually nice because you know why? There's room, lots really of room nice. in the pool. So we got to chill and relax because usually you were trying to relax in the pool and then you've got kids that like splash and wave and go like crazy and I'm like, this is not relaxing. <laughs> so we got to sit for a little bit. So Maddie's getting hungry, so she's gonna go in. We're gonna get some food. I think I'm gonna go over here and paint okay. that fence over there. So I'm gonna go get that rolling here while she's out here. And then we'll jump back in the pool. So I'm gonna go and get some lunch, check my potato fries in the oven as well. All right, so I just took forever and hosed this deck off. So the girls are gonna paint that because it's hot and it's a good time to do it because we can keep Ruby off it when it's really, really hot. So I'm gonna go over here and paint, paint the fence. Friday kid, paint the fence. I'm gonna go over here and paint, I feel like there's a bug on my forehead. There is right here, I feel it. Maybe it's my hair, oh my goodness, I cut my bangs when I did my haircut, and I obviously cut them, I wasn't planning on it, and so um, it drives me crazy because they always come down rocks. When I was a kid, I used to run across rocks, like no big deal. Maddie's over here, she is listening to The Chosen. She's watching that. So, she's up there, chilling in the umbrella. So I'm gonna sit here, I'm gonna paint this fence right here. Get this painted right here, just to kind of look a little better than it is. Pretty hot in here. Painting this, I'm like, 
most of it's got a lot of dirt on it, but I'm like, it's still like old fence. So just kind of giving a little bit of life to it is gonna help usually. So I'm gonna shut the camera off because, you know, it's just blasting over here and it's just, it's just hot over here. But I'll, I'll finish this side, I'll show you when I'm done. So I'm gonna keep working over here. All right, painting over there and I'm like getting down to the bottom and it's literally like just earth. So I'm like, mm, I feel like I can stop right there. Cause it's just literally an old fence that just needs a little spruce up. It reminds me of chocolate pudding, this paint. I feel like I'm painting with chocolate pudding. So good. All right, you guys doing any house projects around your way? Little things to do, get done? We've been doing a lot this year, a lot this year. So it's been like catch up year. Catch up year 2021, but it's good. All right, we're just gonna keep painting. Painting, paint a fence. Oh, thank goodness, it's just a tiny little fence and not a humongous one. I should have did it earlier. There was no sun over here. And I'm like, that'd be perfect to paint right now. But I was like, I'll wait till later. Now it's like 100 degrees in the sun. It's drying really quick. So, all right, I'm gonna keep going. Keep painting. Look at Maxine chilling in the sun, trying to get some shade. She's like, I'm protecting you, mama. Maddie's going back in. Let me show my little fence here. All right, painted the fence. It's not perfect, but it's just an old fence, so it's good to go. All right, we're gonna go up here. Look at the kids are spinning and spinning and spinning around. All right, so I'm gonna sit for a few minutes. The kids are swimming away, which is good. The two older girls are, um, they're painting for me. So they're doing the, I guess right here. They are painting, they are painting the other deck, the one that I did last year because it needed um, some touch up paint. So I'm gonna jump in with the kids here, cool off. So it's been a good day, a great day today. I feel like we got to not do too much. We made dinner and it's good. It's good to just chill once in a while. Nothing wrong with chilling. We made dinner. We did the important things, painted. I got that done. And hopefully tonight, Greg, we're gonna start on like the lights and the hanging lights, but we haven't gotten that far. So maybe tonight, we'll just see how things go. So, all right, I'm gonna let them swim some more. And I'll come back, I'll come back and see you. I'm actually gonna go jumping because it's really, really hot. All right, so we're inside here, all good. Let me show you what dinner looks like. We're not really like starving right now to eat, so it's beautiful. Some came in, some came outside. Look at dinner. And this is gonna be the fries. Here's the sweet potatoes. And look a little cooked, Amy. Well, it tastes good. And the burger patties from right here. Delish. I probably need a Pinterest worthy picture perfect picture, but that's okay. You just imagine a piece of meat on your plate with some veggies. That's what we're gonna do. And now I can mark off the deck. I don't have to paint that anymore, so that's good. The girls do good. Let me show you the deck. Oh, look who's laying on there. Ruby, you need to get off my deck. <laughs> we just painted the deck. You are not allowed to be up there, Ruby. She's like, what? I'm going to be here. And here's Maxine, yeah. I mean, it's dry, but not very. we don't need dogs laying on the deck, so. And it's dry, but not very. Yeah, like not very. So yeah, we need, the, we need them off there. Why don't you go get a piece of bacon for Ruby? Thanks. Go get a piece of bacon. We'll get her off. Ruby, silly dog. Ruby's like, I just want to stay here. So I'm going to put the gate up over here so she doesn't land this because, you know, it's got paw prints now and then freshly painted decks. So let me move this off. Hold on, let me get a piece of bacon and a gate. So I'll just put the gate over there. So hopefully that will keep her down. So I am going to come to my desk here. All right, so I'm going to, oh, it's been a busy day. I feel like it's been a very busy day just because I've done a lot of running today. Um, being out the door early and then getting things done and then I was just like oh, Just tired and exhausted. So tomorrow is gonna be a running day running days are good Gotta take Maxine over there. She's gonna go to the the vet. Don't tell her but she's gotta go She's gotta get some some stuff done. So she's gonna love it. No, she's not So she needs a bath tonight so she can be all ready and I gotta run to the store tomorrow to pick up things for Father's Day. I'm looking what else It's gonna be a good day tomorrow. So tomorrow will be a running day today. So let's read our song for the day. Psalm 123, prayer for the Lord's help. Unto you I lift my eyes, 
O you who are enthroned in the heavens, behold as the eyes of servants look to the hand of their master, and as the eyes of a maid to the hand of her mistress. So our eyes look to the Lord our God until he is gracious and favorable toward us. Be gracious to us, O Lord, be gracious and favorable towards us, for we are greatly filled with contempt. Our soul is greatly filled with the scoffing of those who are at ease and with the contempt of the proud who disregard God's law. All right, you have a fantastic rest of your day, and I'm going to see you guys again tomorrow with another video. We're going to do some running, so all right, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.